everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. I am going to review Titan Quest today. It is a game by Iron Lore and published by THQ. The legendary action RPG is now finally out on Nintendo Switch. It was first released on the PC in 2006. In this game you can play alone, single player offline. You can play local co-op with a friend or online with up to six players, which was kind of funny. The service right now, they crash a lot uh, in my experience, but I'm sure they're gonna fix that. The setting is set in pre-Roman ancient Greece. I have to say that I played this a lot in 2009 and 2010 on the PC. I was obsessed and I leveled up to like level 60 I think it was. Here is even my original CD that I played this game on my PC with. So it's so funny that they have revived this game and released it for the Switch. Because a lot of people I believe haven't experienced this game and it is worth it in my opinion. This game is also on the cell phone incredibly, and PlayStation 4 and Xbox, etc. So, story! You create a character and you find yourself in ancient Greece, Egypt and China, of all places, on a quest to defeat the Titans after they escape from their ancient prison, but the story isn't really important. On the other hand, there are many side stories, uh, side quests? beside the main quest. There are also a lot of storytellers in the city and a lot of lore and a lot of text. People like to talk in this game. Gameplay. So the gameplay is very similar to Diablo games, as you can see and tell from this footage. It is a top-down view and it is somewhat hack and slashy. It is full of RPG elements such as equipment, stats, classes and so much more. Combat is action real-time, you can use spells and skills and you pop potions when your HP is dropping low. Also you can like heal yourself with healing abilities. Like I said, there are a bunch of side quests. They are in a separate list from the main storyline. It is a somewhat linear world. You uncover the map. This is uh, one of the funnest thing about the gameplay, in my opinion. I love to uncover the map as I go. And after some time you hit a city, and further up you hit a new city, and so on. In the cities you can sell off your unwanted gear, make money, you can buy new gear, you can even stash your stuff at the somewhat bank, and uh, talk with the people, the people that love to talk a lot. And you can also fast travel with the portals. At any time you can place down a portal and it will stay there until you delete it. So you can fast travel from anywhere to a city to sell off your stuff and then use the portal in the city to travel back to your own portal from whatever place you left off from. In multiplayer your friends can also travel to your portal. Very convenient. If you are in a multiplayer game and you are at different locations, you can fast travel to your friend. You gain experience, then you level up and you grind for the best gear. You can use swords and axes and bows and staves and a lot of stuff. And you can sell your loot to make some money. There are 8 masteries in this game and this is incredibly exciting. At first you choose one of these masteries and then later you can choose a second mastery. Together they create a unique and own class. So you can choose two of these masteries, the following. Defense, Warfare, Hunting, Rogue, Storm, Nature, Spirit and Dream. So the masteries, they are a big deal in this game. So much fun to pair to and see what you get. This time around in my playthrough I chose Storm first and then I chose nature and these two together makes me a druid so I have a pet and I have electrical and ice attacks the graphics the graphics are so much better than what I remember. That is so weird. They look better from what I remember from the PC days when I played this game. You can zoom in and out, but normally you're gonna play with it all the way zoomed out so that you can see what's around you basically. It's a bit textury, but I love it. I love this sort of graphics that you can kind of see that it is originally from an all older PC game now. So it, you can kind of see the edges and the textures. I don't know about you guys, but I like that. Then again, also, I have nostalgic uh, feelings already for this game since I already played it like eight, nine years ago. They kept a lot of the original menu layouts. The entire look and the aesthetics of uh, the layouts in the menus and stuff like that, uh, they're still like how it was 
back in the day. Overall, I feel like the graphics have nice contrasts from dark to light. The colors are great. It looks really good. I wish the map was bigger. That is a complaint I have. I wish it was stretched more around the screen. Also, I wish that the minimap was a bit bigger. But um, it is okay. It is what it is. Graphically, this game suffers from uh, pop-ins. When you use a portal to travel to the city, you see NPCs and stuff in the graphics pop in. Also, a few glitches. <laughs> The music! It is a great soundtrack, I love it. The music is very fitting for every environment. The sound effects are also really great. With like birds and animal sounds and your weapons and everything. There is sound effects for everything. Even by the water I could hear boats sounds and the water sounds and the wind and like birds over you and a lot of detail in the sound effects. Overall this game has very epic music, but I gotta say that the voice acting is kind of kind of funny. Inspire me to speak of the mightiest hero ever known. We are still attacked day and night, but your help has lifted a burden from my mind. These creatures live like savages, fighting and snarling amongst themselves. Everyone has an accent, so that is fitting. So the verdict of Titan Quest for the Nintendo Switch. Should you buy it or should you not? Is it worth the price? In my opinion, yes. This is a huge game and it offers a great value for the price, if you ask me. If you're into this sort of game already, this is an action RPG. If you have played Diablo before and loved it, you will love this one. If you've never played Titan Quest and want to check it out, I say let's check it out. The RPG mechanics are incredibly deep with the dozens of compilations of masteries to combine. It is also potentially a very super game to play with a friend if you have one to play with. I'm gonna push this onto my neighbor which I just bought a switch for and my friend Katrina, she also got a switch recently anyway. If you want to play with me, message me on Twitter. Maybe uh, we can play together. This game can feel repetitive, but that depends on you, whether you like this sort of grinding or not. Personally, I love this sort of grinding. Grinding for new loot and constantly improving my own character to be stronger and take on a lot more enemies at the same time. I find this game really satisfying. So Titan Quest for the Switch is Isha Gaming approved. That was all for today everyone, thank you so much for watching, please follow my Twitter, like this video, because you need to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, thank you for 10,000 subscribers that I recently got, I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna continue to do my best. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later, <laughs> bye!